Hello everyone, this is the last part of Legend of Zelda. I know it's been a while since I've last played, and I probably have a lot of rust, and let's see if I can actually beat this game. So, I got the rock through it and everything. The only thing I have to worry about now is getting through the place. So let me scroll down the walkthrough so I know what to do. Scrolling down is a problem right now. Because it's lagging a little bit, that's why the music may be a little messed up too, if you're wondering. Okay. I think that's good enough. Alright, so let's go through. Wrong area. Now to get there, you see, we have to go do a lot of stuff. Alright, that was level 8. And we have a red potion, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's figure out where to go. The closest dungeon to it is, um, I want to say 2. I want to say two, but it's probably five or something like that. So let's keep using this warp whistle until I see something that looks like that. You probably don't, you can't see it, but I can. That's all that matters. I'm just looking for some piece of wood. That's all I'm looking for. Not here. Yep. That's how you get that to spawn, but I don't care about that. This is long. This, this one should be like sitting number six. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me check and see if this is here. Let me check and see if this is here. If it is, then you know, we got we got very lucky, and I can't zoom in. The end, so let's just see if I, if I go south, there is is it near some water? Okay, yeah, this is right. This is right. Yep, we gotta load that little lag. Imagine Zelda 2, oh Jesus, no. I'm gonna deal with this lag because of that, I have to deal with it. Alright, we go through these stairs and then. Okay. We go up these stairs. We go left. And I accidentally pressed the wrong button. What else is new? Now we just have to bomb this wall. Or just take two hits. That works too. And there's Death Mountain in there. But first, let's take care of these enemies and hope that one of them gave me a heart, but none of them gave me one. And here's Death Mountain. So, let's go over here and scroll down. And since we got the magical key, I don't have to worry about scrolling down even further to see the path you have to take if you had no magical key. So, let's begin. Alright, first place is self explanatory. If you have a three tripods, there's a man that allow you to go by. So you walk to the left. There's a bomb to blast the wall above and get through. That's all we have to do. If I can go through the door that is. And here we find a new enemy that is similar to Moldorm. Moldorm. We fought earlier in this quest, but these are faster. 
They're moving around the room and you have to strike their head to deal damage. You can bomb all four walls in this room if you like to explore the, this portion of the dungeon. Otherwise, go ahead and push the clock on the left and head down the staircase. Alright. As you can see, you have to face this thing. And I see why they said, make sure you got no potion. Head down, deal with some keys. And we go up the st stairs. So that. And these are light lights, aren't they? Mm hmm. Defeat the. Careful not to lose your magical shield in this room. Defeat the light lights and then use the key to go through the door on the right. Well, good luck to me doing this without using stage stage because my lag is so trash. I probably lost it. But whatever. Now, this is gonna be hard to deal with. Alright, we go through this room to the right. Alright. It is best to avoid them. If you would like to get the compass, bomb the wall below and head back to the next screen. Otherwise, there's progress to the right of the screen. Alright. So, just go over here. Right. Ignoring everything. Okay, I can do that. This doesn't look nothing like the room that. It's supposed to be up here. Okay, um. I went right. I'm trying to figure out where in the world did I mess up. Otherwise, just progress to the rider screen. Okay, so, um. Oh. Oh, I'm in the right place. And here we fight something brand new, the most difficult enemy in the game. Patra, the main eye is surrounded by seven smaller eyes that rotate around the larger eye and occasionally you create a large circle horny lake. If he touches down, you will have to defeat all the small eyes before being able to horn the larger eye. This particular Patra does not need to be defeated, so avoid it for now and head down the street. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to face this one, so let's head down the screen and not take hits. And here we go with more of these blob like enemies. Unless you want to do these do anything, nope. And I gotta deal with this lag every time, too. Nice to get some rupees. And bomb the wall to the right. That's proof that I don't know anything about this game, really. Now, do I have to face this one? I think so. You'll find a second pathway, and while you don't you actually have to defeat him, doing so will cause the dungeon map to appear. This, the map might seem more intimidating than most dungeons, but unfortunately, the vast majority of the rooms are skippable. Dang. That's sad whenever you make all that effort. Most of the rooms are skippable. All that effort to have skippable rooms. And why is this thing skipping where I don't need you to skip? There we go. Now, if you ever, ever hear something in the background, I'll quickly get rid of it because of the fact that I don't need any of this extra SS noise. Because my bad luck is. It's um, very bad. Alright, so use the bomb to blast open the wall below. Can you not hit me? Yeah, 
And then I have to blast another wall. That seems about right. I'm avoiding all enemies right now if I can. Okay, this one, do I have to defeat, defeat anything? Okay, let's see. We have to defeat all the Ridge Rolls in the throne, which can be quite difficult for given all the blocks and bubbles that are in your way. Use a potion if needed, but once all the enemies have to defeat, okay. I don't have any help, so. Please tell me I can use this and knock him out. Well, of course I can't. Why is it so much fire anyway? What was that about? Alright, let's open this block and get this item, which is a red ring. I think it helps us raise right the damage, I'm not sure, but whatever. Okay. After this, backtrack. Now let's see it's not after that. They say this will cut the damn amount of damage you take when you get hit. Link will take half the damage that he did before where he had when he had a blue ring roll well, one quarter of the damage he took from when he had a green tunic. Resurface and then head back down two screens to where you fought the patchery to get the dungeon map, backtrack left the screen and up the screen where you fought the first factory to go through the lock do above. Okay. You get that? Good. He so said I went through that room without taking a hit. I can't believe it. And you basically just do what backtrack to where you were just at. Now from there you go through the locked door above. Can we not get hit? Can we not get hit? And you give us some direct device. Go next go to the next room. The question is what room? Because like I did, so all of it is blocked, so... So you wonder which way you have to go. It is left. You have to bomb the wall to the left. Thankfully I got a lot of bombs. Beat the Riz bro, after you get to the left, and then go through keys. Okay. Alright, so you got, your, you got what you, you gotta do. I'm still trying to figure out what's that empty space right here. It was nice that I only have to hit him once. The orange one that he is. Thank you for actually being nice to me. Now let's push the block to the left and reveal a staircase. Let's go down this underground passage. I wish these things could give me some hearts, but I never got hearts for these things. Makes me think it is impossible to get any. Now we got them big wild enemies. Ignore the zones and head left through the locked door. It's up to you if you want to defeat them or not. You can defeat all the keys here and get some rupees, but then head left is okay. A lot of a lot of skippable rooms they said. You're right. The only thing I want is health. I don't care about the rupees. This is the end of the game. You don't care about the money. You got this five. Ain't that something special? That wasn't here. A third patch. Here we'll find another patch. This one's slightly different as the size. 
move in a more elliptical formation. Defeat the enemy and then push the block to the left to reach the staircase. Okay, I have to face this. Okay, so let's see my trash look. As you can see. I'm having an easy time, Lord. But that was easy. I thought I was going to take more hits than that, but whatever. Enjoy that lag sound because that's what you're going to hear for the remainder of the game. Let's see, what do I do now? Do I have to face these guys? You can avoid these enemies for now and if you like, but you eventually have to defeat them. So I might as well defeat them now. So I still got a magic shield, okay. The light light didn't take it away from me. I feel good. So let's go ahead and get rid of him and take as little damage as I can. Okay, what about these? Do I have to face these? Let's see, it says You will have to defeat all the rich rolls in the was you have to defeat all the Riz Bros in this room and the Bros make that rather annoying. Use a potion if needed. The songs of Riz Bros are blah blah blah. Push the block in the middle or to the right. On the right to reveal staircase so I have to face these things, okay? See, I told you there's gonna be some time or something that's gonna make some noise. Trying to not use it, that's what I'm trying to do. Not be able to use this. Come on. This game is hard. The robots can't hurt you. They can just prevent you from attacking, but can't hurt you. Alright. And we get the silver arrow. At least I know something about Zelda. This item is a much stronger version of the arrow and also the only item that is capable of defeating Ganon and resurface and head down the screen. Defeat the Riz Rose and reach the staircase to go back through the underground tunnel to get back to where we the belt and patch where and then head up the screen, okay. Get that? Good. Since I already faced them, I don't have to worry about it and I swear these bubbles are being annoying. Alright, go back down these stairs. They always these bat these keys are always moving up your pat in a wheel pattern and head up from here head up a screen. Oh I like lights, okay, uh, do I kinda of ignore it? That's the question. Defeat or avoid the light lights in this room and head up a screen. There are more lights like here and there are some blade traps. Avoid them and head up the screen. So we just go up twice. What are these supposed to look like actually? That's what I want to know. Nice try though. Did it take it that time? I'm not sure. Whatever. Head up the screen. And head up another screen. I don't know how in the world. So what's in here? It says, um, place a bomb against the wall to the left and blast it open. Okay. time with Riz Rolls, ain't I? That, these I have to kill. And unfortunately I walk out. You better go back in there and use that, use that potion as fast as possible. You have no health and I have to move fast. 
as soon as this potion is over and I have to move. I mean, I mean, fast. There we go. I thought I killed the other one. I swear I killed the other one. Alright, so let's see. So let's see, a hidden staircase will push the block to the rail. A hidden staircase where a block play trap is boom. That's the easiest one to deal with, so let's see. What's next? Avoid enemies and bomb the wall to the left. Okay. Should have told me that earlier. These enemies are in their BS of moves. Now we got more like lights in this room than blobs. Let's go with blobs because zoles don't sound. Whatever they call them, bowls, zoles, whatever. Be all the enemies then push the block to the left to reach the surface. And I accidentally click where I was recording on. I told you my look is trash and I have to wait for the bubbles to stop being a problem. They're not a problem against these the blobs. The problem is about oh. Now I don't have the magic shield. I got lucky two times, three, four, however many times. Well, I don't have it now. So am I supposed to place this one or am I good? Here we have one of the last patch patches of fight. Defeat the enemy and head up through the door and take on the final boss. So we have to just destroy this thing and then we can go on. Glad the game here doesn't go crazy. Alright, so now that I did all that, let's see what they say after you get done with the path to get here. Look at how much you go through just to get here. Not much. If you skip everything. Now, when you enter this room, it'll turn dark. Alright, so, you move around in a pattern, so hit at one of the locations he shoots from and you'll hit him. Each time you strike him, he'll change his pattern. This place is quite random and could be annoying. Yeah, I bet it's best to find a way to stay in one corner or part of the room and just keep slashing away until you hit him. After striking him four times, he'll turn brown. This is your, time. This is your sign that he is nearly Defeat it. Whip out the bow and sling that in that um silver arrow at him, causing him to explode. So it only takes four hits. What kind of trash boss is this? There's one, two, three. I'm just getting lucky, ain't I? Where are you, dumb pig? Whatever. Slashing everything. There we go. Come on. And just like that, we're done. I don't know how I missed the first one. And now all we have to do is go through this door. And destroy the fire. And we rescue Zelda. And I'm not doing the second quest because that's too random for me. Thanks, Sleep. You're the hero of Hyrule. Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story.
like I said, I am not doing the second quest, so this is the end. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.